Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. New Google Bard. 19th of September, Google has started rolling out a major update for Google Bard, which now finally includes the extension support for the different Google apps like Gmail Docs, Drive Maps, and so on. So extension support has finally made its way now into the chatbot, which I think has been a long time coming. Now, according to the release notes for this update, Google say they are now introducing BARD's most capable model yet, which means that you can use BARD in 40 plus languages. And the big one here is that the extension support, which can be found by heading to the top right, and there we can see the extensions button. The extension support now means that BARD can now access helpful information from your different Google apps. To start using Google BARD, search Google BARD on Google, Click the first one that appears. Click Try Bard Now. Then it will take you to this page. When you log into your Google Bard for the first time, you would see this quick icon here that will give you the extensions. For example, you can just see here and then see Show Me More. And it will ask you to connect to your Google stuff, which is Gmail, Drive, and Docs. Then click Continue. Then click Connect. After that, everything's ready. So as you can see, you have enabled Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace, and YouTube. That means you can go and do all these things and they also give you sample information. For example, in Google Maps, if you want to find something nearby, you can just click that. So here is the prompt which says, show me grocery stores close to the entrance of Grand Teton National Park. I don't know where that is and give me ideas for good snacks to bring hiking. Then let's click Submit. So it will generate answers to your questions. And just like that, we have the answers. So here are some grocery stores near the entrance of that location. It gives us five grocery stores. Then down here are some ideas for good snacks to bring. So we have like peanut butter and bananas, veggies, nuts and seeds, etc. Also gives us some additional tips for choosing hiking snacks. And down here, we even have a map to see the locations of those stores. If you want to search some hotels, they will show you the prices, the exact location. Let's try and see. So click see insights from the Google hotels. So here is the prompt. Can you find me some hotels in the, let's change it to Cebu area of Colon and suggest things to see while there. Then click submit. And boom, we have the answers here. So we can see five hotels at the left side. Then at the right side, we can see the information of those hotels, then the price per night. And we can even click these hotels to navigate to that hotel's website for more information. Then down here, we have the answers to some things to do in Cebu area of Colin. We can take a walk at the Colin Street, Cebu City's Old Street. We can visit the Magellan's Cross, we can visit the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, etc. Then down here we have the images of those hotels. We can see the ratings. We can see at the first one we have three stars and 230 reviews. Then at the right side we can see the price per night. And this one it has four stars. It has 1,325 reviews. Then the price per night which is 1,249, etc, etc. So the chatbot can now retrieve and help you work with real-time info using these different extensions with the different Google services. These extensions are enabled by default, but can be disabled at any time according to your personal choice and preferences. By just turning on those toggles, as you saw, that are available with the extensions. Also, another example from the Google Maps extension. I'm going to click on Tourist Trek. And it says, how long does it take to walk from Buckingham Palace to Big Ben in London? Now go to the right and click Submit. And here's the answer on how long does it take to walk from Buckingham Palace to Big Ben in London. It gives you a handy little map using that Maps extension, which I think is a nice update if you are using Google Bard and obviously are wanting to find different locations and so on. Now that's the extension support when it comes to using Google Maps. And for the next demonstration, you can also collaborate with Bard on your content in Gmail Docs and Drive. So heading back to those extensions, 
This time you can enable Bart to interact with information from your Gmail Docs drive so you can find, summarize, and answer your questions across your personal content. I'm gonna click sum up a doc and what this is going to do, it's going to retrieve that info from our actual docs from our Google Drive. Here we can see they couldn't find a resume titled June 2023 in my drive. But it actually gave me another resume down here which was titled my full name. But this was my old resume though. That just gives you an example of how you can collaborate with Bard on your content and the different services like Gmail Docs and Drive. Another thing I wanted to show you, you can double check Google's responses. Now to do that, just type in any word, let's say London for example, then click submit. And you'll see this G button here at the bottom of the response. Just click on that and it will double check your response. So as you can see, there are text that's being highlighted. And when you click on it, you can see the similar content. So green label means Google search found content that's likely similar to the statement. A link is provided, but it's not necessarily what Bard used to generate its response. If it's a different color, like if it's not green, that means Google search found content that's likely different from the statement or it didn't find relevant content. Then a link is provided if available. Non-highlighted text means there's not enough information to evaluate these statements or they're intended to convey factual information. Also, you can click understand the results. So that's how you can double check Google's response. Another tip, if you want to mention a specific extension, you can just type in at. Then you can see here the extensions. For example, I'm going to select Google Flights. Then let's say show me available flights on October 5 to 9 from Manila to Taiwan. And there we have it. So here are some departing flights from Manila. We can see different airlines, departure time, arrival time, then the price per round trip. You can also view these and other options on Google Flights. So just click that and it will navigate to the Google Flights website. Google has also introduced a public link sharing feature. So again, Google has introduced a public link sharing feature that allows you to share barred conversations with anyone who then can continue the conversation on their own, basically where you left off. And we click on this, you'll see share, then click create public link. So this is also the new update. You can also upload images with a Google Lens. You can get Google search images in responses and modify Bard's responses to be simpler, longer, shorter, more professional, and more casual in all of those. 14 new supported languages. So lots rolling out now to Google Bard. And as mentioned, this is a very significant update. Google is obviously making up for the lost time. So what do you think? Is ChatGPT anywhere closer to this Google Bard? This is truly remarkable and brilliant. With all of the extensions like the Google Flights, Hotels, Maps, Workspace, and YouTube, Bard has essentially crushed ChatGPT. So please comment down below what you think about this new Google Bard. I would definitely love to hear from you. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Do Team. Build high productivity teams with modern workforce analytics and tracking. Time and productivity tracker that helps your team members deliver the best every day. Take your team to its full productivity levels. Monitoring and work tracking. Remove the frustration from team management and get the full productivity with automatic and effective monitoring of the work done by your team members. Get work done on time, in budget, every time. Execute better with project and task tracking. And clear about how much your project costs and where to give the credit for your success, Do Team's project tracking makes things clear. Compliant with privacy laws and fair work ethics. Build a happier team, responsible tracking and monitoring. Protect your organization and build a happier team with a system that is responsible yet transparent. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Do Team now. Just go to getdoteam.in. I hope you find this video helpful. And thanks for watching.